Welcome back to another glorious episode. So today we have three days. It's a very short notice. We have three days to get prepped and get ready to go to the drift event with uh, Tennessee Drift at Smoky Stadium. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do some prep things, get ready. Uh, first off, I gotta get side by side off the trailer. I apologize if there's any wind noise. We had a big storm roll through last night. Kind of washed the Maverick off. We had an adventure up in Royal Blue this past weekend. It was very, very muddy. We've had some rain up there. So we're gonna get the Maverick off the trailer and I have to get the trailer cleaned up, get some of this mud and stuff off of it because the Maverick's been sitting on the trailer for a uh, couple months now. I just leave it on the trailer and hook up to it and go whenever we're gonna go riding. But we haven't been riding nearly as much due to uh brandon's gas price increase here so we're gonna get the car ready check everything over it's a hot mess there's all kinds of stuff on it got truck parts we got g parts we got gun scopes gun bags camera equipment stuff like that shouldn't take me too long so the big if if we're gonna make it to this event is I have to find some tires. I have to find somebody that has tires here locally around um, reasonably priced, under $100 a tire, hopefully. So, we get this process started. We get the G moved, the truck. I gotta get the truck over, get the Maverick unloaded. Uh, I am contemplating doing a deep clean video on the Maverick getting it ready for a ride that we've got in a couple weekends at uh, Wildcat for a friend of ours birthday. So <clears throat> let's get this process started. Haven't heard that sweet sound in a hot minute. Sounds like she's firing on all eight. Let's get her pulled out. Up. Now, first things first, I'm gonna get these wheels off, get them off so we can go get the tires changed, but I wanna get them cleaned up real good. Uh, we got my other wheels and picked them up in a Maverick, you know, multi-use vehicle. I'm gonna clean them up. Hopefully we can find some tires. And then I wanna get this cleaned up real well. I don't know if you can see it on camera. There's a little bit of smoke coming out from under there. That's a residual oil from the last drift event. The oil filter uh, had a faulty oil filter and actually pushed it off. But motor's still good, sounds healthy, saved it in time. It did get oil everywhere. So I'm gonna cake this thing down with some good old degreaser, let it soak, pull the wheels off, and then start pressure washing, cleaning this thing up. Went ahead and Took all four off, got the thing up on jack stands. I'll show you a little bit under here about how bad the oil and stuff was. Kind of just caked everything. Even noticed it was in the brakes, so I'm just gonna go ahead and degrease, wash, power wash the whole car. This side didn't catch the oil, but you know, it's pretty dirty too, so I'm gonna clean it up. Went ahead and filled the radiator up. Still got a little bit of a pinhole leak on that, but I'm not really not really interested in pulling the radiator and stuff out yet to either swap it out or get it fixed. So I don't use the car as much as I, I used to. So I'm good with just filling it up when I can. I'll clean this area back up back here. Uh, currently realize I'm having a problem out of my battery. It's not wanting to hold charge. So I'm not 100% sure what I want to do about that right now. I could probably take it back over to them in Knoxville, but that's three hours I don't have. Take me an hour and something to get over there. You know, add in a little bullshitting time and an hour drive back. I've got less than two hours before I have to go to work today. So I'll figure something out. I know the battery that's in the G35 will fit in this. Um, may end up swapping that out for a day. Don't want to, but if I make some headway on this battery, then I will definitely get it up and going nor do i really want to go to the store and pay 200 dollars. batteries are insane it used to be like 75 80 bucks now they're like 200 
So, got my wheels and everything out. I'm gonna degrease them real quick. Just gassed up the pressure washer here. Bleeding the pump, bleeding the system. It always seems to work better whenever I hook the water hose up. Uh, fill the water hose up, crimp it, tighten it up, and then let this run for a minute. Pushes the air out. Seems to make the pressure washer run a lot better, and it doesn't have a problem cavitating with air and stuff in there. So I'm gonna try that out. Um, get this knocked out. I mean, there's a lot of oil on these front tires and stuff. So here we go. Let's do some cleaning. Wind is definitely kicking it up a notch today. I'm supposed to have storms all day, but it's bright and sunny, really windy. Got all my wheels soaked down. Got the car soaked down pretty good. Ended up fighting with this thing for about 30 minutes. I think maybe the carburetor needs to be rebuilt. It sat too long, bad gas, gotta flush it out. Got it to run though. Get the job done for right now. Kinda cost me a little bit of time. Got about 30 minutes to let this thing soak and get it sprayed down and then have to come back maybe tonight or in the morning and start working on getting it all back together. So, won't look perfect, but it'll look cleaned up. Won't look as bad. Got to put bolt that guy back on there. The fenders, they're pretty much trash, so I ain't too worried about them if they fly off going down the interstate. Oh well, souvenir for somebody. Yep, well, let's let this thing soak and get the washing her down. Returning back to the scene of the crime. Now, this thing was running a little off, and I was messing with it. It was running good on choke, but not good enough. And I thought to myself, I was like, carburetor, carburetor needs to be real rebuilt. I hadn't messed with them in a while, wasn't thinking about it. Now I got to looking at it, pulled the bolt out of the bottom of the bowl. Dropped it down, sure as shit, from all the bad gas and stuff we got going around, it was clogged up. So now, we're back in business. Yeah, buddy. Now, picking up on day two, only got a few hours of the day before work to work on this. So, got all my wheels and stuff cleaned up. Actually, Finally got in contact with somebody who can get me some tires. Gonna go pick those up tomorrow. So today we're working on putting us some decals on. It was about three quarters of the way through this one and uh, wind caught it. Really got me pretty good. Might go get a heat gun and pull part of it off and work on it a little bit. But 10 foot rule, right? You can see it from 10 foot, it's serving its purpose. Kind of matches the theme of the rest of the car. You know, doesn't have to be perfect. So right now, me and Minnie here are working on this side. We're gonna get all the former sponsors and stuff off the car. Been working on peeling everything off and getting my brand logo and stuff put on. Get that one shined up tomorrow, getting the tires, get all that dealt with, and get it on the trailer, and get it ready to go. So me and Minnie here are going to work on finishing this job out. Day number three of this, get ready. You see this fresh set of black marks. We're locked and loaded on the trailer. We have tested it out. End up having to take the battery out started swelling it wouldn't hold charge so i stole the one out of the g it's sufficient we got tires we got hooked up on tires pretty quick what's up bb it's ready to party. you ready to party yep. got some more accelerus those do pretty good they're really grippy they don't last very long but they're pretty grippy definitely send some axles out both door decals are ready to go. About cleaned up about the best that I can. I did, I did fight the urge to play in the yard before I loaded it up on the trailer. So not a whole lot of action going on in this video. Just getting prepped up and doing a little something to lead to content. What's up, baby? It's raining, we need to go on. You ready to go drifting? Yep. Yep. 
So we shall see you guys at Smoky Stadium tomorrow. I'm gonna take the camera equipment. We've actually got some special stuff uh, supposed to be happening tomorrow. Uh, hopefully some good content comes out of it. Drop it on the channel. Uh, appreciate everybody's likes, subscribes, the whole nine yards following the channel. Appreciate your support. So let's go crack a few beers and get up and go drifting tomorrow. Peace out, y'all.